Okay, so we have a parabola here. This is our little graph here of a parabola, and it appears to be bouncing on the x-axis at 5. And what do we want to do? Well, we want to write the equation of this parabola or this particular type of function. And you actually have enough information right here to do so, okay? Now, if you're taking any sort of algebra course, there's so many different flavors of algebra. You have pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra, algebra two, college algebra, intermediate algebra, on and on and on. So yeah, now there's even courses you can be in college taking math 103 and it has algebra in it. The bottom line is this, if you're studying algebra, you're gonna to need to know this, okay? Now it's not difficult, but you know, uh, again, you know, algebra, I don't think is overly difficult. That's my opinion, of course, you know, I've been teaching math for decades. And what makes algebra difficult uh, to students, in my opinion, okay, for what I've seen, is that students just don't keep up with all the little tiny skills that make up algebra, okay? So when you're learning math, you gotta really take it one skill at a time and everything's important, okay? Because things build upon one another. So we're gonna talk about this and if you don't really quite understand aspects of it, then I'm going to suggest that you follow on and do some additional review. I'll, I'll give you some more guidance here in a second. But uh, first, uh, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I am the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Now, if you're interested in checking out my math help program, you can follow the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus math courses uh, ranging from pre algebra to pre calculus, everything in between. I have a ton of test prep courses. So if you're taking an exam that has math on it, like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, uh, ASVAB, uh, teacher certification exam, nursing school entrance exam, club exam, you can kind of get the picture, right? If you're taking an exam and it has math on it, I have a test prep course for it. And if I don't, just drop me a line in a contact form and I'll help you out the best I can. I also do a ton with homeschooling. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program. And then obviously I help those of you that are having a tough time in your current math courses. Now, one thing I want, uh, want to stress real quick is the importance of note taking. Okay, if you're not taking great notes right right now, then you need to immediately uh, do so. Okay, this is really the secret to success in mathematics, in my opinion. And now, you know, I've been doing this stuff for decades. So note taking is a critical. Okay, you have to take great notes. Just trust me on that one, all right? You do the hard work, start taking better notes, and you'll see what I'm talking about because things will get better for you. But in the meantime, you can use my notes to study from. I'm going to leave uh, links to all this, including my notes, in the description. All right, now, what do we got going on here? Well, we have a parabola that is uh, kind of a, uh, you know, a little bit of a hint. And let's go down here and get into the problem. All right, so... Uh, parabola, right? So, okay, you're thinking parabola. I've heard that word before. Well, parabola is the shape of, of the graph of a quadratic equation or quadratic function. Okay, so quadratic uh, equations, quadratic functions, the shapes of their graph are, is a parabola. It's a U-shaped graph. It can go like this. It can go like that. It can be wide. It can be skinny, that type of thing. So, you know, if you were thinking, oh, is this a quadratic equation? That's very, very good, right? If you thought quadratic equation from that, I must just, I must give you a little happy face. And I'm not going to give you an A+. Plus. I almost gave you an A+, plus, but I will give you a happy face with a check mark because that's good thinking, okay? At least you recognize that a parabola is associated with quadratic equations. All right, now uh, let's move on. This particular uh, graph of this parabola is bouncing at 5. Now, let me show you something a little bit different here, okay? And then we'll get back to this graph. What if I had this graph like this? And this parabola, which is, of course, the graph of a quadratic equation. And uh, let's say it went through here at negative 7 and negative 2, okay? Now, what would these points represent right there, okay? Hopefully, you would say, oh, are these the solutions to that quadratic equation? And this is the graph of that quadratic equation, which is a parabola. And if you said that, or if you're thinking that, then I must give you two more check marks because that is very, very good. Wherever a quadratic equa equation, or any equation for that matter, crosses the x-axis, these are what we call real number solutions, okay? Now, quadratic equations, okay, well, again, their graphs are going to be parabolas, 
are always going to have two solutions, always, 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 okay? So here's one solution, and here's another solution. So that looks pretty good, and hopefully most of you out there realize that. Now, uh, what if I had my parabola was like this, okay? You're like, well, it didn't chop through the x-axis, so this doesn't have no solutions. Wrong, wrong, wrong. This still has two solutions, but it has two imaginary uh, number solutions. And again, this is going to be additional um, topics for more, you know, uh, information on quadratic functions. It's a big, it's a big topic. Okay, so, um, you know, if you're like a little bit lost with that, I want to suggest two things. One, I have a ton of videos on quadratic equations, quadratic functions, parabolas, in my YouTube channel, uh, in my algebra playlist. So that's number one. Or number two, you just might want to check out my algebra course, my math help program, and really, really learn this stuff. But anyways, uh, just a quick review about quadratic equations. Now, what about this particular parabola? Okay, now of course I'm seeing you got some work down here. Try not to look at that for a second. Just focus in on what I'm doing. This parabola is bouncing at five. So unlike this parabola, okay, or this parabola, it's chopping through two points. What's going on here? Well, this is a unique situation and we call this situation a double root, okay? So this uh, number where it is bouncing is a solution, okay? Five is a solution double, okay? It's, it's like, uh, what's the solution to this? Well, it's five and also five, okay? There's always two solutions to it. So this is a double root scenario and you need to recognize the graphs of parabolas, okay? In terms of how it relates to their functions. This is a very, very important aspect um, in in your study of algebra and working with polynomials and quadratic equations, etc. But hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so uh, what we know right now is we got this parabola. It's bouncing off the x-axis at 5, meaning that this is a double root. Now what we can do is kind of reconstruct this, okay, in the following manner. We know that 5 is a solution. x equals 5 is a solution. Now imagine if I put that 5 back over here and I have this x minus 5 is equal to zero. Now, if I solve for five, I'm sorry, excuse me, solve for x, you would get back to x equals five, okay? Well, we want to uh, write this solution, okay, in this way. We can think of this, we call this a linear factor. We can say, hmm, if I had x minus five times x minus five, and we set that equal to zero, uh, we can kind of reconstruct this actual uh, equation, and that is what the problem is. The problem is write the equation, okay? So if I had x minus five times x minus five, how would I solve this equation? I would set each factor equal to zero. Of course, it's the same factor. Uh, x minus five is equal to zero, and x minus five is equal to zero. x is equal to five here, x is equal to five here. It's the same answer twice. Well, it's a double root situation. All right. So if you understand that, then uh, the rest is going to be pretty straightforward. Now, I'm going to go ahead and multiply these two uh, binomial, binomials using the FOIL technique, right? First outer and last of this times this times this times this. If you don't understand the FOIL technique, you definitely need to. Again, I have tons of videos on all this stuff. Just going to have to search through my channel um, or you know, maybe look at my algebra class. Okay, so when I do this, I'm going to get x squared minus 5x times uh, minus 5x, or sorry, x squared minus 5x minus 5x plus 25. Okay, so again, this is the result of the FOIL technique or multiplying two binomials. And I can combine like terms here, minus 5x and minus 5x is minus 10x. So here is my lovely quadratic equation. This is what I wanted uh, from the beginning of this video. I wanted you to write the equation, okay? So you kind of just reverse engineer it. And this is the equation, okay? So this is a quadratic equation right there, right? And then we can think of it like this, okay? This would be the, gra if I said graph the parabola, I could give you this equation, y equals x squared uh, minus 10x plus 25. This is also a quadratic equation. And then if I threw in an f of x, or remember y is the same thing as f of x, I could call this thing right here a quadratic function, quadratic equation, here I'm trying to solve a quadratic equation. So, you know, uh, knowing the terminology and all these little, you know, descriptions of equations and functions, it's important, okay? So that's why I kind of wrote these things down. But uh, nevertheless, if you got this right, then I must give you an awesome 1984 happy face with a mohawk with extra 
Aquanet hairspray and an A plus. Very, very good. I don't know what it was uh, back in the 1980s, but we really loved uh, hairspray. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the safest thing either. But uh, anyways, uh, let's go and wrap up this video. The bottom line is this. When it comes to mathematics in general, as I was saying, you know, you, you really have to just take it one scale at a time. Okay. Some things, I don't want to minimize some aspects of uh, mathematics, especially, you know, algebra. There are some things that are fairly complicated, but a lot of the things are certainly not beyond uh, your ability to learn or anyone's ability to learn. Uh, but the thing about it is this, okay? Uh, think of it as a staircase, right? You're climbing up some stairs. And if you're at this skill, okay, this skill that you might be currently learning might be the middle of your class and okay, middle of your school year. All these skills down here, the things that you learned previous to that are kind of like steps that you needed to take to be at this level. Okay. And if you were weak on these steps, you know, these things, you didn't really quite learn them then, you know, you don't have a strong foundation to support you at this level, okay? So what you need to do is just common sense is you got to go back and review and strengthen uh, these skills, okay? And uh, that might feel kind of painful if you've been going without paying attention for a while, but that's why, you know, you really should have the attitude when you're learning mathematics that everything is important because I can tell you right now, everything is important, okay? All right, so hopefully this video is uh, was interesting and maybe in some small way helped you out. And if that's the case, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for uh, 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos, math videos, basic to advanced mathematics, organized in various playlists. My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable manner. All right, so. But one last reminder, my best math help will always be within my math help program. And again, you know, this, what I'm talking about here is uh, pretty typical of like an algebra one course. So if you want to know more about this, uh, I think that's a good uh, course that I would recommend in my math help program. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.